When I first became aware of the YouTube video, it was a wonderful reminder of that time. People, of course, expected us to have been very frightened. It's a lion, for God's sake, running towards us. But we knew him so well. We knew the expression on his face. We recognised his excited grunts. So one year later, in 1972, we went back. He looked a fully mature lion, even though he was still only three years old. Christian was now the nominal head of the pride. He dictated where and when we saw him, and he was still funny and silly, and just growing into one of the biggest lions in Kenya. Wild lions had attacked uh, George's lions, and yet Christian had survived. George always noted that the wounds Christian suffered were always on his forelegs or his shoulders at the front. He was facing the wild lions in an attempt to establish his territory. We were very proud of Christian and how well he had adapted. And he was in the perfect place with the perfect expert. He was taking his role as the nominal head of the pride very seriously. And that was a very satisfying trip because we could see that uh, he was becoming independent enough to look for a territory of his own. And ultimately it appears that he did move north to the Meru National Park. I always shed a few tears. Although we didn't know it, this was in fact the final farewell. Thank <laughs> you.